Hello YouTube, Maisie here. Let's go and have a look in the battery room how I'm going to turn the batteries into uh, 48 volts and show you how to do it. Let's go. Okay, we're in the battery room. I'm just disconnecting the um, leads. They're ready to um, change the wiring a bit. So basically we used to have two batteries leaked as one battery so there's two two batteries together to make 24 volts so now what we're looking at is that we're going to put I'm going to leave the leaps between here and then we're going to take the wires off this one these two and then put another leap from that to that one and then basically the end one's already got the leap so basically instead of having two batteries together we're going to have one two leap this so it's three four batteries in series which will make 48 volts and then basically <clears throat> I do that on the three shelves so that'll basically give me four there, that makes one bank, four there, which makes another 48 volts, same there, and all the way through. So it'll give me basically six batteries of 210 amp hour at 48 volts. Okay, we got all the extra six cables made up. Okay, well I've got the batteries disconnected. I'm going to do a battery test and make sure that they uh, are still in good condition. Um, you should do this uh, going on what I can see on YouTube uh, every six months, but I've kind of been a bit lazy and I have only done this when I received them new. So I'm making the most of having them disconnected to uh, do a bit of a test. And this is um, my load tester and the switch kind of shit itself in the bottom so there's not very big thick wires on this but I just wired it up to a big switch um, to uh, keep it working alright let's turn it on and we'll see what the I think you're supposed to do it for about five seconds or something and uh, make sure the uh, Loads are right. Well, that battery looks fine. Oh, I'm going to do the rest of them and wire them up and be back. Basically, I've got to run the neutral from there, miss that neutral, and go to the second um, cell of the batteries. So, what I'm doing is where I'm disconnecting it, I'm just putting some stainless steel bolts and spring washers and joining them together. Just a bit of added um, safety. I've uh, covered it with insulation tape so if I need to undo it and put it back to 24 volts I just take the tape back out and change the lead cables and bolt it back the way it was. Okay YouTube we're uh, putting the 240 mil crimp on the cable where um, I'll find the other one we're replacing the um, bolt on type that didn't really fit so we're about to um, crimp it I managed to get the wires in um, we stripped off more wire to fit into the crimp that was up there it took a lot more so instead of cutting the wires off and making a big mess I just taped it together and then as I slipped that on there I took the tape off underneath it to uh, stop all the wires spreading out Alright, we're going to show you how to crimp 240mm DC cable. Geez, Trevor's got muscles. Still got a bit to go, Trevor. Right? 
Yes, just in case. It is a bit of a chore to do, eh? Alright, I'm going to give him a hand and put the camera down. Yes, just in case. It took two of us to hang on to it. But we have achieved closing it up. There's only a bee stick left and we, we've decided that that should be enough. So yeah, it took two of us to hang on to it. But yeah, we managed to get it crimped. Cool. There we go. We did three goes on this one. We did this end. We did that. That one kind of went as far as it could. And then we did one in the middle to make sure it's all squished. But hell. Big cable, big connections. There we are, all finished, all heat shrunk, all neat, and passed Maisie's inspection. Okay, now we've got the positive joint onto the positive bus bar, and I've got the negative one all done and crimped. And uh, I'm going to put the shunt on the wall there and run it into a negative bus bar. Okay, we've got the shunt all on the wall. we got the big heavy duty cables, cable tied down the wall. Going into the shunt, Whiz Bang Junior on it. And uh, we've got the Whiz Bang Junior coming in, connecting to the negative bus bar, we've got our six positive leads coming, well, they're coming off the circuit breakers, aren't they? So they'll be coming into here from the classics and running up into the bus bar and then out to the inverter and out to charge the batteries. All right, YouTube, I'm gonna upload this and I hope that uh, gives some people some ideas of how uh, off-gridding uh, is not that hard to uh, to do when uh, you've got YouTube to, to get ideas and that from other people. Alright, bye bye YouTube. Maisie out. <laughs>